And finally, uh, we get to leave Australia and head off to Indonesia. Kupang was our closest uh, port of entry, so off we went. And the second last night, I thought, in Australia, lovely sunset, taking the dinghy back to the boat, all chilled and relaxed, and uh, watching the sunset. Had a good night's sleep, and you're, you'll see now what happened. Almost a disaster. So here we are at Cullen Bay Marina um, pontoon, waiting for Australian Border Force to come check us out. We had a nine o'clock appointment, it's 25 past nine. But we're waiting patiently, no rush. Um, we had a debacle this morning. I woke up at six o'clock and I realized when I tried to enter something on my laptop that I had the date wrong. We thought we were checking out tomorrow, meantime it was today. So it's been a mad rush since six o'clock. We rushed off to the local uh, fuel station, uh, all 24 hour shop. We provisioned from a fuel station, 24 hour shop and <laughs> charged back to the uh, boat, gave the keys to a neighboring boat to hand in the, the hire car and uh, for him to take it back for us. And here we are for our nine o'clock appointment to check out of Australia. It's been a manic rush, but here we are and waiting. Well, normal story it seems in every country hurry up and wait and this is us at six in the morning at some convenience store uh, trying to buy all our grocery shopping <laughs> for a uh, for all indonesia luckily we still had the rental car um, so we charged around in the rental car got everything we needed amazingly um, at a fuel station convenience store and uh, as I said earlier, we gave the rental car back to our buddy boats and they took the rental car back. This is our route from Darwin when we finally got gain. Um, left Darwin, back against fighting tides out of Darwin, uh, heading across the Timor Sea. It was 500 odd nautical miles, um, took four days and three nights. Mostly downwind, so a nice sail. Um, a little bit of light wind here and there, but always the wind behind us, so it was fantastic. Uh, even managed to fly the spinnaker, as you'll see later in the video. And into Kupang, where we checked into Indonesia. And there it is, goodbye Australia. We filled up, we've uh, watered up. Uh, the Border Force guys were very friendly. They helped us claim our tax back. Hopefully we get that back. Um, yeah, Australia, you've been good. A bit expensive, but you've been good. Um, and see you next time. That's uh, leaving Cullen Bay Marina over there, or Cullen Bay Pontoon. Cheers, Australia. Fingers and lines. There's fishing going on here. Yeah? These fishing boats all over the shipping channel, but anyway, um, great day for fishing. I'm jealous. I'm get my lines out soon. Okay, time for the Aussie flag to come down. We've been uh, the boat's been seven months in Australia, and time to get the flag down. It's looking a bit ragged. It's had a tough time in Aussie, but. Um, we go Indonesia is the next flag to go up here. Yeah, it never ceases to amaze me. We got hundreds of kilometers or miles of open ocean, and you still start tangling with a ship in the middle of nowhere. This guy's coming within uh, about 500 meters of us, uh, so it says when he passes us, but um, keeping an eye on him. Yeah, the whole ocean and he wants to come right next to us. Morning, uh, 20th of June, uh, Thursday. We are just come through our first night passage on our way to Indonesia. Left Australia yesterday in a rush. Um, so yeah, beautiful evening, but no wind. You can see the jib is giving me a hard time here. It's just bobbing around. The mainsail is flapping around. Uh, every every sail is uh, irritation, um, flogging sails. So anyway, it was a good night, no drama, uh, motored all the way on one motor, 1,800 revs, 
on the motor, averaging probably about 5.2, 5.3 knots. And on we go. Wind, please. And the wind has picked up a bit. Um, got the spinnaker up. Nice downwind, straight, almost straight downwind. Uh, we actually had about 160 degrees. But um, yeah, spinnaker is doing a good job for us. Keeping us around about five or six knots uh, in about uh, nine knots of apparent wind. So that's happy, that's cool. Been a good day sailing. Um, downwind, spinnaker, 10 knots of wind. Six, six knots of speed all the way. We'll take it. Spinnaker's still going. We're probably going to fly it through the night. And uh, you can see the sun is just coming out now. I'll get the sun up. There it is somewhere, just behind the spinnaker. There we go. Uh, good morning, it's um, about almost 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm on my night shift, uh, the 1 till 4 shift, graveyard shift, um, but anyway we're going along nicely, we've got um, uh, probably averaging about 4, 4.5 four knots, but through the water we're doing about 5 knots, um, because we've got quite a strong current against us, that current turns around later and it helps us, so we're not too worried. Um, but yeah, we gain along, I can show you here, we are sort of in the middle of the Timor Sea, you can see over there is Australia, and there is uh, Kupang, our destination in uh, Indonesia, and we're about in the middle of the um, Timor Sea, that red uh, warning sign there. That's a gas field or oil field, and there's a big uh, pump plant there. So we've got to go around that, and you can see a potted marut to go over the top of that. So no worries there. Um, yeah, all going well. The spinnaker, we've been going under spinnaker now for almost uh, probably 18 hours. And I can show you, I don't know if you'll see it, then it'll come out, but that is the. Uh, Spinnaker flying there, and it's a full moon night. You can just see the moon coming out there, and the spinnaker is doing its job. Awesome evening, full moon. It is also the shortest day of the year in the southern hemisphere, and the longest night. It's the uh, winter solstice. So yeah, it's um, interesting night. But good to be out here at night. It's uh, on the open ocean, full moon. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, 3 in the morning, full moon night, winter solstice, as I said, uh, shortest day, longest night, and look at that, this is the moon, it is not the sun, unreal, magnificent, um, the camera is lighting it up a bit, but I can tell you it's almost that light, out at sea at 3 in the morning. Incredible. It's uh, morning of the 21st of June. Um, it's sunrise, and what's significant is you can see how the sea, I don't know, it, the, the sea state doesn't come out very well on a camera, but I can tell you the sea is for the wind blowing at 17 knots. The sea is pretty calm and flat, and that is a factor of um, the current. So when you've got current going in the same direction as the wind, tend, the wind tends to flatten the sea off. When you get current going against the wind, or the wind going over the current against it, you get a much more choppy, bumpy sea, and that's what we had yesterday. So long may this last. And I think most of the day today we've got current with us and uh, wind in this direction.
So this is a Indonesian fishing boat. We saw quite a few of them out in the middle of the ocean. How's that for rocking and rolling? And they spend days and days out on the sea, no matter what the weather. Coming to the end of our uh, three or four day journey, coming up to Kapang. Um, yeah, it looks quite industrial. There's a big factory over there. I'm uh, not sure what that is. But yeah, it's a... Um, and the normal haze, a bit of pollution over there. You can see the skyline's got that brown haze to it. I think it's every man for himself here. This guy's just uh, heading straight across my bow. Obviously backing himself to get across. Oh boy. Morning, Kupang. Anchored here last night, woke up uh, to this. Temples across the water here from us, guy fishing. What's interesting is we have the uh, Muslim um, call for prayer in the morning earlier, and right now we're just opposite a church and they're singing hallelujah from the church. Good to see a nice mix of cultures again. Two other yachts in this anchorage. But yeah, fairly peaceful. Let's see what Kapang's got to offer. We've got to try and get some uh, check in procedures done today. And uh, Aaron Kapang, a breakfast wrap, bacon, eggs on a wrap. Uh, it is a Muslim country, there's also Christians here, and so bacon is okay. I don't feel too, uh, too guilty. But it's a roly anchorage, let me show you. So you probably can't see it on the video, but if you look at the way the dinghy is bobbing around, um, there's quite a swell coming, it's coming from the side, so we're rolling around properly. Uh, the mono hull next door to us, uh, I don't think there's anyone on it at the moment, but he'll be rolling all over the place. So yeah, happy to be for a change on the cat on a big sea and mono hull, but at a roly anchorage, catamaran. And yeah. Kupang is good. This seems to be the main beachfront uh, where it all happens in Kupang. I think we're going to Cafe Triple Nine there. This is the place to go, apparently. Um, we will soon see. And then the lighthouse. So this is our little uh, dinghy beach here at uh, Kupang. You can see uh, Viento del Mar and the boats out there. And uh, not too bad, a little bit rolly in there. And then this is, I'm in with a dinghy at the moment, just waiting for Matthew to bring us our, our gas. He's had our propane gas refilled. And yeah, this is this is Kupang, the little beach. Uh, bit of plastic on the beach, but actually the city is actually not too bad. It's fairly clean and tidy. Busy. Everyone travels on a scooter. This is Yonto. Yeah, yeah. Yonto, he lives here and he is looking after our dinghy, which is down there. You can see the dinghy. Yeah. And he's the man. He looks after us here. Thank you, Yonto. That's the harbour master office. We uh, just got our check out and clear out from the harbour master. We are now all set to go anywhere in Indonesia. I wanted to say India, but it's Indonesia. Elliot and I are taking a walk uh, to the fish market for dinner. Uh, sort of along the waterfront a bit. They're in Kupang and into Del Mar. Out there. Uh, not too bad, yeah. But it is a city, just another city. And we want to move on. Downtown Kupang. It's, uh, it's busy. Here we are at uh, Cafe Triple Nine. Bintang is the uh, Indonesian beer. It's uh, a Heineken product, so it's actually very good. Um, there it is, Cafe 99. It used to be quite the spot, and it's not bad. Um, so we're here for a drink and dinner before we sail tomorrow. And it's right sort of on the beachfront, let me show you. 
Um, oh, excuse me. Had a run this morning, so the legs are a bit wobbly. And you can see this is the main Kupang waterfront. Yeah, a bit of soccer going on. Oh, not too bad. Good spot. Uh, the Brian Master here. There we go. And that's dinner. We've got uh, some chicken fried noodles or chicken noodles, some calamari rings, some seared tuna, uh, prawns over there with Elliot. Yeah, and a bintang beer and a, and a Cloud 7. And a, no clue what that is. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Last yeah. bit of provisioning, yeah. That's uh, oh, no, I don't eat too, but I might not. Tomato, tomato, yeah. Tomato, okay. there we go. Thank tomato you. Tomato. <laughs> so, a nice little problem to have here in Indonesia is um, <laughs> their money, their rand is um, a thousand rupees to one rand. So, we got um, all this money, yeah, there's 100,000 rupee notes, there's 50,000 rupee notes. All this money is equal to about 3,000 rand or 160 US dollars. Now the problem is you've got to get all those notes into my little wallet. Um, so that's my, my biggest crisis of the day, but it's a good crisis. Yeah, 3 million rupees, 3,000 rand. So we're just waiting for our gas cylinder to be returned uh, it leaked so as they do here in this part of the world they made a plan and they're busy welding it hope they'll get it back soon so we can sail off to uh, Ender, the next island the fishermen are on their way uh, those are sort of the fishing boats I think it's a one cylinder diesel that just chugs away so we've left um, Kupang uh, that's uh, East Timor Island we've left and this is another little island, our first little Indonesian island we've come across, nice long white beach, um, very deserted and we've got the fishing rods out, eternally hopeful for some uh, good dinner. A little bit of space in the deep freeze, um, there are a lot of these little fishing boats around. So, um, should be a fish around. On we go, Komodo Island. Here we come. 